Um, all of those Japanese heavy industries seem to make their own PCs at some point. This is an Acer Travelmate B115 series. It is a cute computer, to say the least. You can see on the bottom it came with Windows 8 Pro. There is a battery reset button. Fun little thing there. Uh, fun fact, on messed up ones of these I have had the battery reset button make it never work again. Anyway, uh, that's rare. Let's really quickly disassemble this. You'll notice if you look around it, get the tour here, this thing has a top plate and that's basically the way it comes apart all the screws out of the bottom and get prying so this may be a pretty easy video what we're going to do is install this Hyundai SSD I didn't know that car companies made SSDs but there you go Hyundai actually used to make computers back in the day fun little fact um, I know this because briefly I owned a Hyundai computer uh, briefly. It wasn't for very long and uh, it did eventually go away. I believe Mitsubishi also made computers. Um, all of those Japanese heavy industries seemed to make their own PCs at some point. So it really isn't that surprising. A lot of people don't remember that though because we're talking about, I mean, I'm not particularly young and we're still talking about when I was single digit age or you know I may not have even been born when some of what I'm talking about was out but anyway this is the most boring part getting all of the screws out of the bottom alright now I was given reports that the touchpad was problematic on this computer there is a BIOS setting for the touchpad that uh, lets you set the mode to standard or advanced. And if you are having trouble, either you do a fresh Windows 10 install and you can't get the touchpad to work at all, um, or you're just having weird glitches, try setting it to not advanced, to the basic or standard mode. Look at that, look at that. It's just good old-fashioned prying. Stuff a pry tool in it, get a nice seam going, and if you've got fingernails like me, well, look at that. It's liberated. Look, there's not much going on there. A little foam for the hard drive that's bad and coming out. And getting replaced with a solid-state drive by a car manufacturer. Let's see, how is this hard drive held in? I think with nothing. You literally just lift it up and slide it out. My god, it that was the easiest. That was... Yeah, I'm so still charging the normal price for this because, you know, for everyone that's this easy, there's one that's a lot harder. Now, while we're in here, let's take a quick look. we got a Wi-Fi card. This is your keyboard. Uh, there's your battery reset button. There's your actual battery connector here. Uh, probably would have been a good idea to get a battery, but whatever. The battery's not swollen. That's great. Uh, let's see, this is, it just says MB, but chances are pretty good that that's a touchpad connector. And that's the speakers. Uh, how do they wire these speakers up, I wonder? It probably goes under the battery. Display cable here. And there's really not much else. If there are other cables, they are under the motherboard, and daddy ain't bringing no motherboard up. There's a screw here. Uh, that screw and that screw probably don't come out for to get the motherboard out. There's a screw here and here. See the arrows? And then here, up against the hinge, and probably the Wi-Fi screw. If you take those screws out, let me get you a little darker here. If you take those screws out, then the board should come out pretty easily. Here, take a look. I'll zoom in and I'll try to show you if it will be kind to me. There we go. So let's let's get this a little darker. Man, I didn't realize the glare was that bad. Otherwise, I would have done something a little bit differently. Sorry about that. So let's look at this. We've got a screw here to get the motherboard out. A screw here. And then sliding up, not these two, 
but this one right here, this one right here by the hard drive, that has the arrow pointing at it, that one needs to be taken out. And that should get your board out. That and the Wi-Fi card here. And you should be able to get your board out. All right, while we're in here, let's do some quick checks. The hinge mounts. What happens if we try to screw them down? Well, that was loose. So the hinge mount was loose back here. Um, can you even see that screwdriver? Smack the camera. Tell it, show what you mean business. These, these hinge mount screws were loose. Uh, computer is six years old, so it's not exactly a surprise that the hinge mount screws are starting to come out. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt here just to check all the motherboard screws, the connectors, just to make sure everything that you can see is reasonably snug tight. It doesn't need to be super tight, but it definitely doesn't need to be loose. And if he's having problems with his touchpad, yeah, actually, it's a click pad. It's not a standard touchpad. Let's do a little bit of digging real quick while I'm in here, since it was the easiest drive replacement ever. Let's see how bad the situation is with this touchpad. Battery looks like it only has two screws holding it in. Is that true? Two screws and then everything else is tabbed? I think it is. Lift up, pull the battery back, and look at that beautiful battery. Now, here's our touchpad. It's a click pad type touchpad. Yep, there's only one button. It uses your touch to figure out which button you're trying to click. So he was having trouble with the touchpad, and we have confirmed the speakers do. We'll go under the battery. The touchpad cable is here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this touchpad wire and put it back. And I may actually pull this up, this adhesive shield here, probably for RF shielding. Yep, there's a screw under it. Let's make sure that these screws for this uh, touchpad, let's make sure that these screws are actually reasonably tight. And, and you know what, I'm going to leave that other one alone. But let's, all right, this cable's been reseated. This screw is tight. And let's slide the battery back into its little tabbed holders here. Yeah, uh, yep, 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 yep. There we go. And we'll reseat the touchpad cable here as well. And bonk. Come on. All right. Put it in here. Let's get this battery put back. And reassembly is the easiest thing ever. I did not realize the hard drive was not secured by anything other than the compression of the foam. That's a little inconvenient now, isn't it? And then we'll put this back on. Uh, it's backwards. Well, we'll put it in the right direction. And then put it back on. And all the screws are the same size, so who cares where they go? Although some of them look a little different from different angles. That doesn't mean that they're different. Yep. I mean, it's really the easiest reassembly, let's just be honest. This is, this is not exactly difficult. Um, this is, frankly, I think even a novice could pull this one off. It's a tiny computer. It's it's pretty forgiving. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that that was probably one of the simplest disassemblies ever. So, not too much concern about it being difficult. I mean, at this point, <laughs> I've spent so little time. It's not even ten minutes into the raw footage yet, and I already feel like, you know... I'm padding the video out. It's just, it's that simple. But what I really want to do, I put a fresh Windows 10 on that drive that you saw me install, and I would like to pop it up and see how the touchpad performs, but more importantly, see if I can show you the setting. And there is that, that touchpad setting I had referenced earlier. I want to see 
if I can show you that setting so that you'll be able to find it a little more easily if you need to tweak it so that the touchpad behaves a little better. I would not be surprised if someone replaced their touchpad thinking that that BIOS setting, that uh, the touchpad was bad and not knowing the BIOS setting was the real problem. But I have done several Windows 10 installs on Acer's that had that setting and it's not pretty because you get in there you can't do anything and even when you install the pointer driver from Acer's own website you still can't do anything thanks so much for that that's that's absolutely wonderful alright boom all together now um, might be a little hard to show you at that angle but let's turn it on F2 gets you into setup on most of these. Yep, they're set up, and you kind of need an angle up or something, don't you? Well, here, let's do it the hard way, I guess. Nope, that's not going to work either. Can't even do it the hard way. So let's do it this way. You get to see my pretty face. Well, hello there. Nice to see you. You're coming with me, good sir. Get off that tripod and come down here. All right. All right, I'm going to try to do this, but, you know, we'll see what happens. There you go. Look at that. All right, so let's take a quick tour here. You see that? F12 boot menu right there. That's something you need if you want to boot to anything other than the built-in operating system. And then touchpad touchpad advanced well what are we gonna do with that hit enter uh, basic now I bet you the touchpad works great and Windows 10 here we go and it'll probably get some devices ready since it's an image but oh we're not getting devices ready today that's fine anywho I hope that that helps you out with your Acer Travel Mate series. And, uh, you know, let me know how it goes. Leave a comment or something. Always love hearing from my super fans who I help out. Have a wonderful day. Take care.